I started using Tone 2's Gladiator about a year ago and recently upgraded to Gladiator 2. I really like Gladiator because it has a new synthesis technique called Harmonic Content Morphing, or HCM. HCM allows you to generate a huge variety of harmonic content that you can then use for sound design and creating your own presets. Before I go into HCM, I'm going to run through a few factory patches with Gladiator 2 just to show you the sonic range of the instrument. So this first patch is a motion sequence. It uses the arpeggiator. I'm going to move the mod wheel up here. Here's an arpeggiated bass. This is an atmospheric pad. And last, this is an arpeggiated bell sound. All right, so now let's get into programming HCM. So I've started off by initializing the patch. If you hit the init button, it resets the patch to the factory default. So just a brief tour of the interface. Oscillators 1 and 2 are in this section, and oscillators 3 and 4 are in this section. By clicking here, you open up the list of possible oscillator types. I'm going to select one, and you'll notice it loads this oscillator type. And what actually is happening here is this isn't just a simple waveform that got loaded into the oscillator. It's actually a morph table with 256 spectral snapshots. So by pressing a key on the keyboard, you're causing this spectral table to be played back in a particular order, which is called morphing. And this parameter lets you specify the morph mode. And the squiggly lines are saying, play from the start point to the end of the wavetable and come back again and just loop back and forth. So you can hear the different harmonic content as it's playing through the 256 different snapshots in the wavetable. So the controls in this section allow you to change the start point of the key press. So now when I press down, it starts in the middle of the wavetable. And I can control speed. By pressing this button, you're syncing the speed of the wavetable to increments based on the tempo and the host. So let's try a few different other patterns. This particular morph mode plays from the beginning of the table to the end and then it stops. So you can see there's all sorts of different morph modes. I'm not going to explain them all in here. I just wanted you to get the concept of the idea that we're playing a wavetable based on the morph mode. The real value in all this is that morph tables allow the harmonic content of the oscillator to change over time. You can further change the harmonic content in the wavetable by using what's called a modifier. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and it brings up a list of modifiers and again I'm going to let you read the manual on this. I'm just going to touch on a few just so you can see how it works. So I'm going to pick spectral mirror up. And then you'll see that it actually regenerates the wavetable based on the modifier. So this isn't uh, real time, but it does completely change the harmonic content based on the modifier. It sounds a little different. So to add more modifier, you use this parameter. I'm going to crank it all the way up. And you can hear that's really changed the harmonic content in the wavetable. Let's pick something different. Time multi. Change the speed a little. As I mentioned, there's a comprehensive list of what all the modifiers are in the documentation. And the one we just selected, Time Multi, as it says, it creates multiple copies in time and mod controls the number of copies. So if I turn this number down, you'll see that. It actually changes the number of copies that are in the morph table. So let's pick something a little more traditional. 
FM synthesis. across the wavetable. I'll select one more. You can also use this modifier to create classic synth sounds like pulse with modulation. And I'll change the intensity simply by turning up the amount of modifier applied to the wavetable. So Gladiator not only supports one modifier for the oscillator type, but two. So let me show you, I'll do a little experiment here. I've selected saw as my oscillator type, and I'm going to select a modifier called super saw. And you can hear how that has a super saw effect, but if we misuse it and go back to our original organ sound and then add that super saw modifier it creates quite a radical set of spectral snapshots so as I mentioned we can combine two modifiers so I'm going to switch back to FM so this is familiar we played this just a few minutes ago so now I'm adding FM to the organ oscillator type then I'm adding super saw Okay, so let's take this one step further. As I mentioned, this is oscillator one and two. And if I select this, you see I get, again, a, a list of all, over a hundred of these oscillator types I can choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, a sine wave. And if I press the key right now, nothing happens. It sounds just like it did a minute ago. So if you follow this line, there's an option for combining the two oscillators and how they're combined. So by default, only oscillator one is playing. I can set them to crossfade from one to two. So you're going to hear the uh, wavetable we were just working with, and then it's going to blend into a sine wave. And if we keep following this chain, you can see I can add another modifier that would do modification to these combined oscillators. So lastly, in this chain, there's phase modification. So these are all the parameters you can set for controlling phase. So let's pick granular noise just because it's going to give us a radical effect. I'll go ahead and turn this up. So in summary, Gladiator has over a hundred different oscillator types. Each oscillator type is really a morph table with 256 spectral snapshots in it. There are modifiers that let us regenerate that wavetable based on these modifiers. So we can generate FM synthesis, AM synth, uh, pulse width modulation, super saw effects. We can add multiple modifiers. We can also combine a second oscillator and decide how that combination is going to be added to the signal path. Add a third modifier plus control phase mod. So that's a massive amount of control over harmonic content and we haven't even touched the uh, classic parameters we would adjust on a synthesizer like filter and resonance. So that's really just the tip of the iceberg with Gladiator. There's a lot more to it. There's, um, it has a really strong arpeggiator, some step LFOs, a great modulation matrix. So swing over to modulatethis.com, www.modulatethis.com, and look for more tutorials on Gladiator and other virtual instruments.